Oh, boy. <laughs> you should know the truth, and it will, it will set you free. You should know the truth, and it should make you feel free. Some of you can't handle it because it's just not what you've been taught. But the truth will set you free. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome to this place I call the mental house. A lot of y'all ask me why. I don't even know why you can ask. But you, you, most of us are living in an insane asylum without walls. And um, it's, it, it's really good that we can come, when we can come to grips and terms with that. Because we can look at our reality and see if it matches what goes on in society. And most of the time when you're thinking straight, if you don't got a lot of thinking, thinking, shit don't line up. So with that being said, truth, pressed to the earth, will rise. It will rise, it will rise, it will rise. Now you got folk who are very, very upset. Let me give y'all this this tea okay Denzel Washington casting as Hannibal in upcoming Netflix movie Sparks Race wrote in Tunisia the, okay cause you know the truth again is the kryptonite for most white folk okay they love the world when the colonization um, has allowed them to think that they are the leaders of the free world, for real, for real, that no inventions, no disciplines were ever accomplished until they came, they laid asses on the scene. Now, most white people that study, they know better. Um, historians know better, okay? But a lot of even dumb, deaf, and just Ignorant black people don't even realize how they fit in, fit in in this scheme of life, okay, and who exactly they are and who they were, okay? So we got Netflix is accused of making potential historic error in casting Denzel Washington as historic military leader Hannibal. Hannibal was black, y'all. That's another thing they lied to you about. Hannibal was black, riding the elephants across the Alps. He was a black man. Everybody was black over 2,000 years ago. Y'all started branching out like life does, like it should. But it does not negate the fact that black people gave you literature, gave you science, gave you mathematics, talking about some damn uh, 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 father of medicine, and I never heard M. Hotel. See, see, so lies are what rule this planet here. That's why it really bothers me when they talk about how, uh, you know, we shouldn't be a bully and we shouldn't lie and all those rules that they made, but they created a whole country on lies and brutality, and killing, and thievery, and murder. Just like uh, what's happening right now, over 400 years later. Okay, and that's just in America. Let me say, historians remain stumped over the general's true skin color over 2,200 years ago after his reign. It comes after streaming giant Spark outraged by casting black actress as Egyptian Empress 
Cleopatra. You know, all you got to do is use a little common sense, really. Because, you know, y'all with that kind of skin couldn't even have, you couldn't even have survived here. I mean, really. The sun was hotter then than it is now. <laughs> anyway, let me let me keep moving. Netflix's decision to cast Denzel Washington as historic military leader Hannibal in its upcoming blockbuster has sparked a furious race row in Tunisia. The streaming giant is accused of making a potential historical and casting uh, historical error in casting Washington, who is black, as the ancient Carthaginian uh, uh, general with historians still stumped over his ethnicity over 2,200 years after his reign. No, you shouldn't. Outrage over the casting spilled into Tunisian parliament and sparked an online petition calling for Tunisia Ministry of Culture to take action against the attempt to steal our history. You know, let me tell y'all something about stealing somebody's history. You got your Smithsonian Institute, you got your London museums and everything, with everything you stole from black people. Everything you stole from Egyptians, everything. Hell, Napoleon shot the damn Spink's nose off because he was so mad that the damn thing was black. When he saw that nose, he was like, what? And he had an adverse reaction to it. Even though he shot the nose off. People that go, they realize that he's black. They realize that head is a the head of a black man. But those that don't respect anything and they love lies, and that's who they are, they're the master of liars. See? They're the mother of all lies. And those that continue to just operate um, on a low vibrational level, they 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 um they believe the bullshit. And the puppet master who created it all, he like he's like, I, oh, I got y'all now. So when these movies come out like this, they're controversial. And African nation, uh, nations are proud, but a lot of people that sit outside in nearby Egypt are upset, um, and they feel that um, Netflix is blackwashing. <laughs> blackwashing movies, and they can't take it. Listen, y'all. If you just knew history, and that's why they're trying to take it out. That's why they steady mo removing education from the books out of the schools because they don't want you to know the truth. And the truth is you ought to honor your mother and your father. We are your mother and your father. We the mother and fathers of all civilization. Take it to the bank. We not low-life ignorant niggas like we portray. We are the masters of this universe and right now we're just living beneath our privilege we have the most beautiful hearts and we never never hesitated from sharing with the rest of the human family because we knew that we were all one it's just that some of y'all traveled further north further north and you were uh you know deficient of pigmentation and, of course, that creates an energy. And the energy that produced y'all, that decided to take y'all whiteness and weaponize it against the rest of the world, has really made a problem because y'all really can't see the truth when it jump up and slap you in the damn face. Ain't nobody blackwashing nothing. If anything, it was whitewashed. All these symbols of lies 
all the damn craziness that white people have perpetuated to the human family, your time is up. It's up. You had a certain period to rule, and you haven't done a good job with it. So now you're going to join France and all the rest of them whose empire came apart from greed, corruption, sin, uh, and the works, the mistreatment of God's people. Because we're all God's people, see. And when you got a few who've deemed themselves the Khalifa of the world, and they abuse the rest of the human family and subject them to uh, certain standards, all that's coming to an end. And there's a lot of countries sitting out there waiting to get revenge on us. Because this country is going to be tore down from within. We're getting real nice and ripe for the enemy to come and take over. The role of Washington's selection in the film uh, lead role sparked a wave of criticism online, which then erupted to the halls of Tunisian parliament, according to the French outlet Courier International. Tunisian member of parliament Yassine Mami argued that the chamber needs to take a position on this subject as he felt that there was the risk of falsifying history. It's already been falsified. You damn. This is about defending Tunisia identity and listening to the reactions of civil society, he said. No, it's not. No, it's not. But the devil is a deceiver and a master of trick knowledge. And so he's tricked you to feel, to feel like <laughs> Hannibal is somebody other than who you say he is. Tunisia newspaper La Presse also took a public stance against Washington's casting in an editorial, claiming that the decision is according to Tunisian and many observers a historical error. Really. Ain't that something? And like I said, y'all ain't y'all y'all ain't gonna stop until you get stopped. It's just unfortunate that a lot of us gotta go down with the ship if we don't get out of here. Anyway, Washington is set to team up with director um Anthony Fuqua Antoine in the film in the latest long line of collaborations between the pair including the Oscar-winning uh, 2001 film hit Training Day. Hannibal was born in 247 B.C., that's before Christ, for those of y'all don't know, and was of West Asian Semitic origin, being born in the region of Carthage, now Tunis, the capital of Tunisia. He is considered by many historians to be among the greatest military leaders in history, and his career included a famous siege of Rome in 218 uh, B.C. when he led African war elephants across the Alps. Just like Shaka Zulu. See, you, you know, y'all don't, don't understand. You're dealing with a warrior class of people, really who are living beneath their privilege. And once they wake up, that sleeping giant, it's going to be hell to pay. Experts have been divided over his skin color, as although it is agreed that he was a Phoenician, a uh, Polynesian uh, heritage, now known as modern-day Lebanon and Syria, he ruled at a time of numerous interchanging empires and intermixing. Tunisia's outrage and the casting has also come at a time when the heightened racial tensions of the nation, which has President Kais uh, Saeed 
alleged that sub-Saharan migrants are flooding the nation to turn a majority Arab nation purely African. Look at them. Talking about the Middle East. Y'all just some really wicked, wicked uh, minded people. Just like you split Africa up and divided it. But they waking up. Colonization has done a job to y'all. You just don't know. And if you're not interested in knowing, you're going to be ignorant. Just like them Trump supporters. Dumb. Ignorant. Ignorant. Talking about they waiting on John F. Kennedy. Well, I can tell you I was a kid and I saw him uh, uh, the news where he got shot down. What the hell? Look, y'all just too much for me. Anyway, they very mad about Denzel Washington's plan of this, and they can't take it. Uh, um, however, while Mamie felt Washington's selection was offenses, offensive, Culture Minister Hyatt uh, Giramazi said the movie was out of her control and she was negotiating to have some scenes of the film shot in Tunisia. It's fiction. It's their right to do what they want, she said. Hannibal is a historical figure, even if even if we're all proud that he's Tunisian. What could we do? You know, I remember when my friend, rest in peace, I told me that uh, the original, you know, the Japanese, well, every, on every continent, you see black people, you know, and the Japanese were black. And he showed me all these people that were black, looked like jet black, but they had the same phenotype as the Asian, the, the, except they had uh, nappy hair, they had slant eyes, <laughs> and they're, they're not the ones who represent China or Jap or you know, in each culture you go to, they'll take the ones where they flourished into MP mixing with the race and they'll put them out front as if that represents that's a true representation of a culture. It's like Charo and uh, Jennifer Lopez, uh, but uh, Rosie Perez is seen more black. You see what I'm saying? That's all colonization, white supremacy. It's not the way it really is. And now the chickens are coming home to roost because truth pressed to the earth will rise. You're not going to get away with these lies forever. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And the ancestors are going to move forth. Anyway, it comes months after Netflix came under center, a similar criticism for casting black actress Adele James in the role of Egyptian queen Cleopatra. Egyptology, Egyptology experts and historians slammed the show for blackwashing the historical icon with records showing she was Macedonian Greek origin. Fans reacted with similar disdain four days after its release. The show was given just 1% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes, reportedly the worst ever documented. Yeah, it's hard to accept the truth after you've been told lies for years and years and years and hundreds and hundreds of years. But the truth is coming. In fact, I take that back. The truth is here. The truth is here. And you might as well embrace it. Because it ain't going nowhere. And in the end, that's what will remain. The truth. All right. I know y'all, a lot of y'all ain't going to like this. But if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you out there who have subscribed to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. If you, don't forget to hit the like button.